quick tutorial with some mini shotgun cable, Sky TV or satellite, and whatever else. So that's the mini shotgun cable there. And I've got some mini F type connectors, and you can just see there they've got a smaller internal diameter. The cable itself is 4mm, so I expect that internal diameter is roughly 4mm. So first things first, doing it with a Stanley knife, that's the shotgun cable there. And I'm just going to gently separate the cables. So I've got my two ends separated there. And again, about 20mm or so back, I'm going to score around the outer PVC there and remove it on both parts of the cable. So same thing twice. Okay. So I'm left with that approximately 20mm of the PVC off on each cable. I'm going to peel all of that fray back, all of it back there, and give it a twist, make sure there's no fray remaining around it to cause any issues. Same on that one, the fray, all back, twisted. Okay, so I'm left with the two bits of foil screening. So the next bit is just gently with a knife, just gently cut through that screen in and then it'll just peel off. That's the same again that side then. Okay, so now you've got the two bits of foam inner, inner insulation, so I'm going to gently cut through there, very gently, because if you score the core on this, it's quite delicate. And this is the cheaper shotgun cable as well, it's like an aluminium some sort of aluminium alloy cable. I think the more preferred one now is the copper WF or PF65, which is mainly used, well, the SkyQ definitely requires it. Okay, so, I made a bit of a mess there. So I've got the insulation removed and the fray just gently twisted on each one. So the next thing, I'm gonna take my wire cutters cut that really short, that fray there. I've still got a bit there for contact, but most of it is removed. Same on that one, leave a tiny bit, and cut a lot of the fray off. So I've got a tiny bit left as so. Okay. So next thing is, mini F plug over the top, checking I've got no fray touching the copper core. So that over the top, and with removing most of that fray, the screws on nice but it's still nice and tight as well. Okay, that's one, put the next one on. Okay, and I can see there, got the copper core coming through, good few mil of it, no fray touching the inside copper core anywhere, and the copper core is clear of the F plug as well. So I won't be sure tonight, and I should get good signal. So that would be it if I was just putting them on the end to go into a sky box or a satellite box, etc. If I'm making an extension, then you can use the F type couplers. That's a screw thread coupler. And if I had that as existing cable coming out of the wall, just gently insert it in there till I feel the copper core go into the side, inside of it and gently screw that on and the same for that one as well just being careful I don't bend the core and it goes into it screw that on so if that for example was my extension cable it could be 10 meters whatever if I'm moving my skybox around the room new cable into there Gently and screw that on. And the same for the other side as well. That is it. It should make a nice solid join. It's not easily going to be pulled apart. I suppose alternatively you could whap a load of tape around there as well, and that's that.